Hello and welcome to the History Project. My name is George and this is Pete. This is the start of a 10 part series where we have been funded by the Heritage Lottery Fund to visit 10 schools and take the kids on an amazing metal detecting experience. We're going to be visiting each school. The kids will be detecting, pinpointing, digging, researching, cleaning their own finds. And at the end of each day, the school will have a collection of historical objects that they can keep for their future topic work. Can everyone hear me, right? Yeah. yeah? Good. Put your hand up that end if you can hear me. Put your hand up that end if you can hear me. Brilliant. What we've got to remember is that one of you is going to be using a spade. And a spade is a lethal weapon. If you hit someone with it, they might die. Don't hit anyone with it. It's really easy. When you find stuff, don't put it in your mouth. It's really, it's a bad plan. So what can happen, especially if you've got like a musket for a piece of metal, Imagine if you've got it in your mouth cleaning it, someone bumps you up. All of a sudden, you've even got it choking your airway, or whatever you've just swallowed needs to come out the other end. Right? <laughs> so it's not a good plan to put things in your mouth. So if anyone, everyone promise me you're not going to put something in your mouth. Not yet. Do you promise me? That's good enough for me. Yeah, that's great. Put your hoop down there then. That's it. Well now, you just take a step back. You put your foot on it, pinpoint lady. Stand on it. Now you dig round. Now put it in. Good, oh. great job. Awesome. Oh, there's tons of Now stand words. back. Oh my goodness. It's yeah, I now the detect over the top or. Where do you think it is? Right there. there. Okay, let's put the spade in then. Put the spade in there. Right there. Oh, look. A coin. A coin. We found a coin. Lily, Ruby and Jasmine. A coin. They need to clean that and research it later. Should we okay. put it in the bucket? So we can find That's it. So now what we're going to do is make sure we put this back nice, right? So we're going to put the mud back in. Oh, it's out in there, isn't there? Oh, in there again. Oh, another coin. Oh, another coin. Wow. Super. Okay, I just joined this group, and it turns out they found two bunnies. Right. So, what's your names? Olivia. Olivia. Maddie. Maddie Isabel. and Isabel. Olivia, Maddie and Isabel. And let's have a little look what we find. Oh. Oh cool. There's one. There's two. You well, guys are doing awesome Carry on, I want to find some of you find some more. Good job. So did you dig that and not find anything? Yeah. But then we went over here and we found one coin in it, so but we then thought we that went was here. all of it. Oh, oh so you yeah. found a coin in there and you yeah. thought that was all of it? Yeah. Right, so remember when you're testing it, wiggle. Get that flat. We found a coin in it, then we stopped. Now come this side. Might have been it. You stay there. The tone I'm getting is there. You want to make sure it's not out of the ground. Where's the pinpointer? Pin, pinpoint. Right. Found it? No. Mad. Wait, you're trying to find something, Mad. Mad, Mad's a detector! Oh my god! Oh, I found another coin! Where's the coin? I'll go tell him. Go tell him! 
We got the coin. coin. Another coin. Huh? No. Right. So what did you find then? Another coin. Where is it? Um. So move that space. Put it out of the bucket. Then. Oh, well there you go, these the girls have had a look, get in the camera girls, come on, you guys are doing well good, look you can see yourself in there, come round, <laughs> come on, come closer, Baby, she might... get your head down, you get your head right in, <laughs> hello, I've got another coin, <laughs> awesome job, fist bumps, bang, 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 there's your coin, Thanks. sort your hole out, carry on, don't stand on the detector now, come on, So we've had an amazing morning metal detecting with the kids. It's been really sloppy because of the amount of rain we've had. There's been some really awesome things found between the different groups. And what have you been in your experience? Yeah, in the I've, um, I've really, really enjoyed it. The kids have found it really uh, rewarding. Um, found some really good finds actually. I'm looking forward to this afternoon mm. to clean them off because a lot of them went straight into the bucket without us actually seeing what they were. So it's going to be exciting. Yeah, I mean, obviously, sometimes we know what it is. I, I saw one group, they found a really lovely shilling. Um, but you can't tell them that, it's just really beautiful. But for me, the favourite thing is seeing their little faces when they actually find something. You, they get all animated and they love it, don't they? Yeah, so. we found a lot of coins. Yeah. A surprisingly large amount of coins. Um, and we found something really beautiful over there. Um, Do you know what it can is? I tell the camera what I think it is? Yeah, go on then. Yeah, I believe it's a really old door handle. Oh. It's got some really sort of intricate decorations on it. It looks really quite beautiful. And when we took the clod out of the ground, it was right there on the surface. We didn't have to search for it at all. Oh, brilliant. Um, it's awesome yeah. when that happens, isn't it? Yeah, it was great. Yeah, so it's been really windy and really cold. The kids have done really well persevering. If I was the teachers at this school, I'd be really proud. Anyway, we're going to go for a bit of lunch and we're going to be going into the classroom after lunch to um, clean off the finds and do some research. We'll see you then. See you then. Bye. <laughs> so we're about to go into the classroom. It's the afternoon session and me and George were dressed as World War II soldiers, as you can see. Why not, eh? <laughs> a lot of what we're presuming we're going to be finding are going to be from the World War II era. So we thought it would be more impactful for the children if we had costumes. So we've gone for two World War um, II soldiers costumes and just so the kids have an extra level of them. Um, Amusement, really. Amusement, yeah, amusement. Yeah. Cool, let's go, shall we? Brilliant, yeah. Which way is it, George? I think it's that way, behind let's, the camera. Let's go that way, then, shall we? <laughs> go on. <laughs> I could tell you that because you're not going to find out what that is by looking at it. It's actually a stud off of a football boat. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a brilliant find. Show that one. Where else you got? Where else what you got? About that one. Oh my god, that looks incredible. Yeah, it looks like a spinning top, but I'm not really sure. You think it's a spinning top, eh? It looks like a spinning top. Wow, that is absolutely amazing. Can you get, in a minute, can you get more of this mud out there for me? Look at this. Hello, so I'm here with Olivia, and Olivia found a silver coin, two crown coin. That's an epic find. What do you think when you found that then? Yeah, what did you think when you saw that? Um, um, like, the, um, the adults are going to be really impressed with us. You thought the adults were going to be impressed? Well, I am seriously impressed. That is so cool. Let's show that to the camera. 
Um, we've cleaned it and it says CNA here. So we googled CNA and we think it's either a spinning top or a doorknob. So what do you think that is then? I think it's a gun bullet. <laughs> Have you seen this, Pete? I think we found ourselves a volunteer researcher. <laughs> wow. That's absolutely brilliant. So do you think it's that one? Yeah, that's incredible. Um, if we hadn't been invaded, I imagine we'd find lots and lots of German bullets. Thankfully, we weren't. Yeah, so it's quite likely that's um, a British one. Yeah. So you going to tell Pete what that is? Two? We have three bullets. Good research. This button was from the World War One military resources, and it has it has a lion with a little circle and a crown on top, with a horse on the other side and some writing around the back. So that's the end of our first day metal detecting. Great fun was had by all. The kids learnt loads, they found loads and had a really amazing time. And I'm just looking forward to the next one. So don't forget to stay tuned because we will be releasing in total 10 documentaries about us visiting schools metal detecting. See you next time, folks. <laughs>